Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Stitching with the Dachshund. Today is November 12th, 2018 and it is my birthday. So I put off filming so that I could uh, have my birthday with you guys. Um, I've had a really great birthday so far. As a matter of fact, I am filming um, one of my birthday gifts. My husband gifted me with a camcorder. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely piece of equipment. It has a mic. It has an extra lens. Uh, only thing is I have to get used to looking at the little screen and the things are, are mirrored. So I know I'm going to be off a little bit. So um, just bear with me on that. The second thing he got me was um, a set of lights. There's three lights. Um, I'm using only one and it looks like it's working really good. I've got it kind of up high because it was in my uh, reflecting in my glasses and uh, I don't know I tried it a little bit different so I will be learning camcorder and lighting which is kind of exciting uh, it's not just for me he's also wanting to uh, video lessons of him doing some of his boot work so we will definitely need the lights out in his shop and this uh, camcorder will be very useful be, I can turn the video, the viewer thing around and I can catch his sounds. So I'm very excited about it. Thank you, Robert, for these two wonderful, wonderful gifts. I love you. And Sarah yesterday got me a, uh, this sounds kind of silly, but I really, really wanted it, an eight quart stock pot that I really uh, think is beautiful and I can't wait to cook something in. So she picked that up for me yesterday. Uh, tonight we are supposed to go out for dinner, but it is really nasty here. Cold, wet, drizzly. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. I did cook a big Sunday dinner yesterday, so uh, we have plenty of leftovers. It's like we really don't need to go out to eat. Um, but anyway, it is my birthday, and I wanted to celebrate with y'all, so uh, we're going to have a good time. Hopefully, I can get this uploaded while it's still my birthday, but we'll see. Well, I've got uh, quite a bit of stuff to show you, some cross-stitch, some not cross-stitch, uh, so just bear with me. So we're going to jump right in uh, with finishes because I'm really super excited about some of the finishes I have. And now this is going to be a test to see if I can do this. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, and I really hope you are, and it's the same as my uh, YouTube channel, Stitching with the Dachshund. Then you've already seen these because I post, uh, I'll try nightly, I don't always make nightly, but I try to post every night before I go to bed. These are some embroideries that I've been working on. Okay, that was the bell. I hope you got to see that because the screen is so little, I don't know if I'm showing you or not. So this is the second one that I finished. It is a stocking. I'll pull it back so maybe I can get it all in there. There you go. And I'm working on another one, but I will show you that in, in whips. Uh, I am trying on this some of the new DMC floss, the Etoli. I know I'm not saying it right, but it has the sparkle in it. Uh, and I'm really enjoying working it. just gives just a little bit of sparkle to it. Not too much. And it's not like working with the Krennic or anything like that. Are there uh, real horrible stuff that I don't like to work with that makes it shiny? So anyway, we'll move on to my next whip. And this is a cross-stitch piece. You saw me in progress of the last video. Uh, follow me on Instagram. You've seen this already also. Um, it's for a friend of mine, Kirk, who is really into Firefly. Oops, got to move it the right way, Sherry. I hope you're seeing it. And all oh, its a glory. Let's move it back. Now, some things about this one is the shiny down here gonna have to get used to this it is a it's a, also in that thread and I purposely picked a dark gray so that uh, it's a little sparkly in the shining this lettering up here if you watched Firefly uh, you know that Jane who is a gentleman well, a man 
he uh, he got a hat from his mom, and it's these colors, and it is just a great part of the of the program, all about that hat and such. Uh, and I I love this piece. Uh, it, it I got it off Etsy, and I did not write it down. Fan fan like fans, phantom uh, embroidery. I but I will link it below because she's got some other patterns on there that I I want to get, and um, I also want to contact her about doing. Uh, some lettering for this because in this you can't see it if you uh, on Instagram I posted a good picture I went to the bathroom turned all the lights out and you can see it in here if you look real close you might be able to see where uh, you can see some white lettering if you watch the show that lettering says Reavers which is just a nasty group of uh, for nothing if you don't watch it think pirates but really gross and nasty mutated horrible creatures that do horrible thing to heart to people so um he'll be able to see that when he gets it but at night when he turns off the lights and it glows i just i, I want it to be a surprise the first time he sees it and uh, i'm really excited about it um let me see that is all that i've got done uh i shouldn't say all because that you know i finished that piece up and I think I've only been working on it for like two weeks. So I, I believe I did really well and threw in some embroideries and some other things that we will be getting to in a little bit. So let's move on to whips. This is the next embroidery piece that I'm doing. Isn't she cute? Love her. Um, I'm doing some satin stitch on her scarf and her star that's going to be right there is going to be uh, silver because I went to Needleworks this weekend. My Needle Needleworks is my local Needleworks shop. It's in Copper's Cove. Um, I always enjoy going there. Uh, and my goal is to get all the um, colors of this. I know I'm not saying it. Itole um, thread. Anyway, and I did pick up some and I'll show that in purchases in a little bit. So, uh, these are not... Um, whips that actually have thread in them these are whips that um uh, more embroidery that uh, i'm trying to that i will be uh embroidering on can you see that okay so that's a little house one and that's a double i've got two little houses here's another deer so the only one that you haven't seen yet is this one and it's a little little I call it Charlie Brown tree but it's gonna be really cute so those are the pieces that I still have to uh, embroider I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them when I get them all embroidered they are Aunt Martha's transfers um, so one of the Christmas sets I don't know which Christmas set um, so I'm going to uh, finish those up I might go get another set if I can find another Christmas set and I wanted the primitive look and uh, I might make a little wall hanging or something a little Christmas wall hanging with that practice my quilting maybe with that I don't know I'm, I'm gonna get them done I enjoy embroidery very much uh, it was before I ever got into cross stitch I, I did embroidery so what have oh my goodness hang on just a minute mama off off he is chewing his pillow. It's rainy and nasty, and he doesn't want to go outside and run his energy off, so he's doing crazy things in the house. I was hoping he'd sleep through this, but it doesn't look like he's going to. Victoria is. Victoria's crawled up in the chair over there sleeping. Okay, a few videos back, I told you that Sweary Stitcher Regina had gifted me with a couple of patterns, and I really wanted to start working on them to show her that I love her, and I love them. Thank you, Regina, once again for these. The one I'll be working on right now I started working on is honey and I am using the called for material even the uh, material uh, the fabric I ordered it from the primitive hair but here are threads that I'm using on it I think they're just marvelous and they look so good so three of the gentle arts and a couple of dmc's and this is where i'm at
Can you see the fabric? Oh my gosh, the beehive. All of that. And this little guy is just coming along. I got him to that point last night. So I'm really enjoying this pattern a lot. It's fun to work on. I get caught up in a pattern that I uh, I, don't, I can't do rotations because when I uh, when I love a pattern it's I've I want to work on it so much. Um, I started on what was going to be my birthday start because I just couldn't wait any longer because I really wouldn't want to start this. And then Fat Cat Flossing Leslie showed where she had purchased this kit or had purchased the uh, pattern. And um, I was like, well, that was my jump start to going and get my fabric and so I could start it. Uh, and I actually contacted her and said, hey, I've got this. You have it. You want to stitch it together? We'll do a sow. Just a little stitch line. And so uh, she's, she's, I believe she has to get her fabric and then she's going to start stitching it. It is no rush. It is no, like, we got to get it done in so many days. It's just like, hey, we're both going to start this pattern and work on it. Then I saw in Tash, the star cross stitcher, I believe is her um, uh, YouTube channel. She also had it in her stash. And so I contacted her and said, hey, we're doing this. Did you want to join us? And she did, but she has two. She has this one and another one that's similar with about the two angry birds. About one gets up early and gets the worm and the other doesn't. So she's actually going to stitch the other one, but she's going to join us in the sow. And so anybody who has two angry birds, uh, either Shakespeare's Peddler or any of them, then you are so more, you're more than welcome to join us in our stitch along. And it is two angry birds sow. And the two is spelt out. Um, you can find that on Instagram. Uh, we're underneath. Um, I've actually, the picture is more of the quilt. I don't know how come it did that. But anyway, uh, follow us on that. This is the pattern from Shakespeare's Peddler. I have wanted this for first time I saw it. <coughs> Excuse me. I purchased it on Jen Stitch and Niche, which... I went and checked a couple of days ago. She still has some, and they're on clearance. And I want to say $2. So if you want to join us, you could join us for $2. Um, and you get a great, great pattern from Shakespeare's Peddler. And I love her, and I love her stuff, so it's all good. This is where I'm at. Now, I am following also the, except for the fabric, which is similar. It's just the color's off a little bit. I've gotten all... The classic color works that go with it. Actually, this color here was for the birds, and it's supposed to be DMC, but I saw this, and I went on it, and I thought, I want that. So, I really love when working with the chili pepper. Chili pepper, yeah, chili pepper. It is so pretty. So, I have those. These are the DMC flosses that go with that. You tell me that's not going to be pretty. It is going to be gorgeous. Let me turn it around so you can see some of the blue ones. And when I have, I make my own little string, I don't know what they're called, anyway, but whenever I get a note from one of my stitchy friends, I'm like, I, I could put it in a box, or I could put it in a journal, and I wouldn't see it all the time. However, I could write the name stamp, the name, number of the flosses, and put some um, tape right there, and I can use this over and over, and every time I see it, I, I think of her, and it, it makes me happy, and that's what I've decided to do with my cards when they come. Uh, this is where I'm at, and this is the fabric that I'm using. So far, it's been very easy uh, and fun, and I will enjoy uh, working on this one just as much. So it was going to be my birthday start, but I got anxious and started working on it, but that's okay. I'm thinking it's my birthday month. I might go on and start everything in my basket that I've got kitted up. I just might do that. Who knows? Now, for my birthday start, this is what I'm going to be working on today. I will start it today. And you know, a lot of you are doing it even, and a lot of people have already done it. Uh, it is the Snowflower Diaries, and I'm doing November, of course. I did not get October done. It, it's actually, I've, I bought the fabric and that, and pulled the, the floss as far as I've gotten. But I'm going to jump ahead and do November because it's my birthday start. 
Now, if you see on here the peacock's tail, that is supposed to be a green and gold and, you know, like a peacock. But when I saw how the colors that she was using in her, in her legend, then I was like, but I like those colors. So I went through and I kitted it up with those colors that I liked out of it. I liked the blues. So I kept a lot of the same. It looks like I really only changed two. So I took out the green for the tail and put in the turquoise looking one, which I love. So this is the fabric that I was stitching it on. Brandy wine. Let me try to close it so you can actually see it that way. Isn't that a pretty color? And these colors are going to look amazing on them. So I'm pretty happy and excited about getting that one started. And really with the series, I only have October, November, December. And I've got the material for all of them. And I'm doing them in DMC. So I just need to, uh, to, to work on them amongst all my other things that I need to work on. So I do believe that that is my whips. Yes, that was my birthday start and my whips. Remember, if you want to join us for our two Angry Birds stitch along right now, Jen's Stitching Niche has it. Last I looked, she had them and they were on clearance. So jump in and get them while you can. Um, let's move on to the winners of last month. I had, or last time I filmed, I gave away, I was giving away these two magazines, the whole magazine. Because um, Mindy Stitchy gave one of, she tears out the pattern and sends you the pattern, and she does it every week. Um, she had one of the patterns out of here, and 50 people asked for it. And I thought, how selfish of me to have this extra one and not give it away. So I did. I asked if anybody wanted it. And three people asked for the March, April one, which is this one, and people wanted it mainly for this pattern like I said three people asked for that and Joanne won this one so I will be posting a note on her uh, comment after I get through with the video also and I will get that out to her now May June this little lovely nobody asked for it so I still have it if you're interested in it, uh, just look at my last video. There's some really uh, super nice things in here that um, caught my eye and I thought was very, still very beautiful. So if you're interested in uh, this one, contact me. I will, you know, I will send it to you. I'll probably just send it to the first person who contacts me because it's already been up to, you know, to be given away. So those were my winners. I do have a new giveaway that I want to do. Um, I, Whenever I see cross-stitch books, especially when I first started cross-stitching, which has been a little over a year now, a year and a half, um, I would pick up any cross-stitch books that I saw to look through them and see if they were, because I had no patterns, and I was just collecting them where I could at the time. So I've got three books that I picked up. One book I did something out of, and... There is things in the other books that I'm like, I would like to do, but now I have more patterns and there's things, hey baby, my puppy's here, I uh, that I would put in front of these. So why have these sitting on my shelf, gathering dust, and when somebody else might find a used form, I might find something in them. So the first one, sorry, that uh, is going to be available to anybody who wants it is Holiday in cross stitch 1990 I'm not going to do a flip through but it is the holidays um, if you're interested in this just put holidays and I will put you in for, if there's more than one then I'll put you in for a drawing if there's only one hey you get it the other one is the new cross stitch sampler book I really like this one at the very beginning of this book there are some pictures of samplers, and uh, I, I kind of wanted to keep it for that reason, but once again, 
keep a whole book for a couple of pictures. I need to clear out some of this stuff. The third book is Weekend Cross Stitch Gifts. And I did cross stitch something out of here for a gift. It didn't take me very long at all. So what should we do? Okay, so the first one is Holidays. If you want this one, Holidays. If you want this one, Sampler. If you want this one, Weekend. If you want to see what's more in them, more of the stuff that's in them, private message me, comment, and uh, I'll see what we can do to, to do that. So, um, I never give a date of how long these things are, will run. It just when I film next, I will go into the comments and pick the winners from it. So, if you're interested, please, you know, take them off my hands. Let me see. We're going to move on. This is going pretty quick. Oh, man cave. So, my honey, Robert, is working on a new pair of boots, and I'm going to give you a sneak pre preview. He left them in the house, so I thought, I'll go sneak preview. They are going to be uh, for a gentleman who plays the accordion. There's, those are going to be blue bonnets. Now, a lot of it still needs all the stitching in it, so it's not all the way come to life yet. So, this is the front of one boot. This is the front of the second boot. They're coming along beautifully. Oh, he's, there's a, a lot of stitching in these. He's got to go around each of these little buds in the flower, the top up, wee, the top up there, and all the notes. He's got to make the keys on the accordions. He's got a lot of work to do on these. Um, but he's really enjoying them. I love right up here the turquoise. I love that. He's he's just got such a good eye for color and and the customer wanted a conversation piece. This is pretty much what he says. He says he plays the accordion. He pulls his pants legs up when he play when he sits and plays, and he wanted people to see his boots and and comment on his boots and love his boots. So he's going to get that. Um, purchases. I do have some purchases this week. And I wanted to share them with you. Um, first off, I've started doing a little bit of quilting, which I'm going to show you. See, I look around when I see them. And uh, I bought these needles. I don't think my camera is going to really show up. Show them out real well. But they're Shishisko. Shishisko. They're from Hiroshima. Um, they've been doing, it's tulip made in Japan. They're supposed to be like really super sharp that I'll go through the quilting, the three layers of, of quilting stuff, the fabric on a quilt. Um, so I saw, I watched a couple YouTubers on quilting and they, when, I, when two people mention them and say they like them, I'm like, they're worth trying. So I, I heard that and I was like, I'm going to order them. Actually, I didn't even order my text. Robert said, hey, I think I want to try these. And then in the mail in a couple days, because he has Amazon Prime and a phone. <coughs> and he ordered them. So, I got those. I ordered uh, some floss from Hand Dyed by Rolanda. Hopefully, you'll be able to see this. This is one thread that I ordered. It is just a variegated beauty. I was thinking something night, uh, Halloween, Ravenish, something like that with that. And then I purchased her, a couple of her Christmas ones. I love this. That's just... And typical Christmas colors. I just ordered her blue Christmas set because uh, I really, really, really wanted them. Now, I've also started uh, with my embroidery. I wanted to be able to do my own transfers instead of doing Martha's, uh, Aunt Martha's or buying other transfers. Um, because I was looking at them, I'm like, I can draw those. And I usually, I, I normally, because I've always done medieval uh, embroidery or Renaissance embroidery, I've always had to transfer my own. And so I was actually looking for an easier way to transfer and to do some more primitive uh, designs. So I went on and bought silky transfer pins iron on transfer pins i'm pretty excited about trying them i've watched a couple of videos on them they get good reviews um and you can use them not just for transfer you can draw because i got the colored ones colored ones 
So you can just, if I wanted to take a pillowcase and just draw on the pillowcase, I could set it and it would be done. And I would never have to put a thread in it. The, it stays, it's permanent. Uh, and it's in color. So that's one of the things I bought to move my embroidery along. Then I've gotten into, I was talking about the DMC floss. I've got a whole set of the regular DMC floss, but I saw the uh, Colorist, Colorist brand, which is kind of like DMC's overdyed, I think it's what it is. It's not the variegation, but it is, it is a beautiful, they're just beautiful. So I'm trying to get the whole set of those. And I have to admit, I'm trying to get the whole set of these just because I think they're gorgeous. And you know how I hear this on um, floss tubers all the time. Then they ordered the fancy flosses that uh, they were just beautiful. So they, they wanted them. And, and I get that. I get it because this is I wanted these. Look at that. Not getting used to the going. Which one is This video is definitely a learning curve. Aren't those beautiful? So I'm slowly, every time I go to Needleworks, um, then I pick me up two or three. Because that way, just getting the whole set's not going to take me very much. And of course, I told you earlier, the sparkly ones, the ones that I'm not going to be able to say. Itole. I purchased some more of those. I had some. I didn't know which one of these I wanted to use on my Firefly one. So I picked up both. So that started my collection. Then I wanted some Christmassy colors for my embroidery to add to my embroidery uh, and give it a little Christmas sparkle. So that was another batch that I went and picked up. And then while we were there Saturday, because Saturday we were going down to Austin because I have a new niece. She was born uh, ah, four days ago now. And so we went to visit her, and she's gorgeous and beautiful. And so uh, before we went, we stopped by Needleworks to pick up a few things. And so I picked up. Actually, the main purpose for going by Needleworks was to pick up some more of these because I wanted some silvery sparkle. I had gold sparkle in my Christmas stuff, but I wanted some silver for silver bells. And uh, so that was the main reason we stopped by there. Um, let me see. I got my needles, transfer pins, my threads, buttons. Um, I needed buttons because I'll show you in just a minute some things that I'm doing. Um, but I needed the buttons with the um, hank or whatever it's called on the back side. And um, I had heard from Regina, Swery Stitcher, about ACR, Austin Creative Reuse. And since I was going down to Austin anyway to see the baby, and my mother-in-law and father-in-law are down there, and they've been down there since a couple days before the baby was born. And so I figured they needed an outing. They needed to get out. I wanted to go there. So I was like, let's go there before we go eat. And... Um, I did, and I, I went with the purpose of finding buttons. Anything else I might find, but I found buttons. My mother-in-law found a couple of patterns that crossed it. She hasn't crossed it in a few years, so hopefully she'll get back into it. So these are a few of the buttons that I picked up, and they are working. Sherry, get it right. They're working well on my project. These were kind of cool. At least I thought. And then I picked up these stars, and they're a front and a back. Okay. And a larger one. And they were only like 25 cents. They're deal buttons. Um, looks like they might have come from Hobby Lobby. Isn't that a Hobby Lobby clearance tag? I don't know. So I got those. Look what I picked up. 
I'll put that on a Christmas thing. And then I thought of Farm Girl when I saw these, and I just I had to have them. They're little goats. They'll fit on something somewhere. So I don't know why. These are four metal lion head buttons. Now you can't see them that well. And then uh, with that, these are deer heads. show them that good but they're absolutely wonderful and I'll find some use for them somewhere I really can't being so new with this I don't know if it's picking up anything or if it's just all going to be a mess picked up some pearly buttons for different things I found these buttons favorite findings they're the doctors isn't that cute it's like uh, medicine bottles, a hat with a red cross on it. Oh, so cute. And then this is uh, some stitching stuff, like a little thread holder spool. A uh, pair of scissors. It, it got broke, but um, you know what? It's okay. If I really want to use it, I can glue it. Then I picked up these, six of them. And I picked up some Jingle Bells because it's Christmas time and I don't know what I'm going to do with my Christmas embroidery. So I've got two golds and then this has gold and silver in it. And I mean, they're, these were 25 cents a piece. So not bad at all. So that's pretty much my purchases that I've had for this last week. Um, I do want to show you some stuff. Oh wait, this is purchases. I found a thrift shop in Copper's Cove when I right near the needlework shop actually. They have a ton of fabric and I'm talking a ton. The whole there's a back area that's full of it. There's a Christmas section and they sell it a dollar a yard and except for Christmas is two dollars a yard. And when you go buy it, it has a little tag on it that says like a yard and a half or a yard and a quarter or two yards. So you know how much yardage you're getting. <clears throat> and um, how much it's going to be. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. Uh, these have already been washed and surged. I picked them up for backing material. Maybe some project bags for the ones that have enough. This looked old, you know, like old pioneer dresses. So I, I had to have it. This is an Egyptian, Egyptian looking one. Look at that. This has the different states on it. Now, this is some's going to be upside down, some's not going to be upside down. I thought that was lovely. This one's inside out, so let me turn it where you can actually see it. Another where I thought that it looked kind of old. That's such a good find for such a little bit of, uh, of money, you know. This is another one that made me think old. And, uh... Must have picked up two of the bird ones. Must have been channeling golf stitch, uh, Julie, <laughs> golf stitch, golf coast stitchers. And then this one, it looks like little bugs of some kind, maybe bees, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just flower petals. I don't know what it is, but I loved it and I picked up some and I'm going to actually go back and pick up some of the Christmas one. And um, I'm curious if the Christmas one goes back to a dollar yard after Christmas. Because, you know, it's a thrift store and they're making money for whatever club. The Optimus Club uh, might be wrong there. I don't know. So, that actually concludes my purchases. Now I'm going to show you some stuff that I've been uh, working on. You know that I do a cook's guild, medieval cook's guild in my home once a month. And an embroidery guild. 
So for my cooks, I'd always like to give the members something for Christmas. So this year, last year I gave them Christmas mugs with something in it. I don't even remember what it, candies and I don't know if I put something I made in there or not. But this year I'm giving them these hanging dish towels. So it's really as a gift from the heart because if you remember, I don't really sew. Project bags were the first thing that I learned to do. And this, I watched a YouTube video on this. It was really simple and I was like, I could do that. It's a sloth. Is that not cute? Can you see it? The owl up there. It says, slow down and hang out. It's so cute. This one has a fox on it, and a squirrel is on the fox's back. There you go. It's cute. Um, for your coffee, people, that today is a beautiful day. Wake up, today is a beautiful day. I love it. My problem is, I want to keep them. I don't want to give them away, especially this one. I love it. My sister would probably steal this one. Look at that. Farm fresh eggs sold here. I want to keep it. Look at this one. Farm fresh. Look at that rooster. Can you imagine hanging that on your stove or your dishwasher? I love it. Here's another rooster one. You might be able to see it better on this side. This little face. And these are the buttons. This is why I needed to find buttons the way I found them. Uh, I needed them for these. And so I used both sets of these kinds that I bought. And they fit. They were perfect. Perfect. So I spent hardly any money on it, you know. This is another one that I would love to keep. The towel is really soft. Espresso Cafe. Freshly brewed. Isn't it lovely? I like that one too. Live every moment, laugh every day, love with all your heart. I like it too. This one. And I've got more I'm making for me. I actually made this for somebody who watches me on, our, uh, as on a Instagram. She is also a dachshund lover and has, I think, three. So I saw this and I thought of her because she always comments on my pictures and such. That is, yes, a dachshund. Isn't it the cutest thing? They have pot holders that match the ones that they have. They have different ones with dachshunds, too. One of them says dachshund through the snow. <laughs> so cute. Um, but when you fold the pot holder down, you, you miss it. You lose it. So I just get the um, clear ones. So I've been working on that. The other thing that I've been working on that I got the quilting needles for is the baby quilt for the new baby. So I've got needles on this, so i got to be really, really careful. Um, so this is what I've been quilting. Let me see if I can, sorry. I wanted to, I've been so, I don't know if you can see the stitches in it. I have been hand stitching that. I hope you can see some of them. It's gonna take me a while but it's also, when I did it, I'm going to have to check for needles. I thought, you know what, she's, by the, a baby blanket is pretty small. So, I think I'm going to make her one that's a little bigger. My chair is hung. Okay, there we go. So, this is, it is huge. So she'll be able to have that one for a while. So um, that is pretty much what I've been working on. I've got to make a few more of the dish towels. Uh, i got to finish the quilt. i got my birthday start to do today. i got some wonderful cross-stitch stuff that I'm working on and embroidery stuff that I'm working on. And I still have crochet stuff that I'm working on, so I've got a lot to do. I got asked uh, a couple weeks ago, I watched a, uh, a, a six-month-old 
and a three-year-old for a mom who was going for a job application, moved into the area, didn't know anybody, had never left the six-month-old with anybody, and a very sweet family, and I would have been just as nervous, but I happened to be really good friends with her mom, her, I'm sorry, her mother-in-law, and she said, talk to Sherry, you know, I trust her, she's had uh, kids, she watches kids in the for us, the group, things like that, so she said, I trust her, you know, contact her, and I did, and, uh, when she picked him up, we were talking for a second, and she goes, don't you get bored just staying at home? And I'm like, nope, <laughs> I never get bored. Sometimes I want to get out of the house and go do something, but I have stuff to do. If you could see my kitchen table right now, it's got the surgeon to sew machine out because I've got project bags sitting over there. i got to make more of these. I stay really busy. Uh, and I, I host the Cook's Guild and the Embroidery Guild, so I'm always prepping like, Cook's Guild is this Wednesday, we're doing beignets, um, I'm saying that right, beignets, and, um, researching them back into period, and then we're gonna fry them up. Oh, I have a video that I uploaded to my channel about me, uh, doing one of the recipes, so that is this Wednesday, so, um, tomorrow I will be prepping for that in Wednesday, so I always stay busy. So, anyway, no. Just because you're a stay-at-home person doesn't mean that you have to be bored. Get a hobby. Hobbies are wonderful. So with that, I'm going to close. And I'm going to tell you to get some thread. Or put some thread in the needle and get to stitching. Now I've got to reach up over you and turn off this video camera. Thank y'all.